Hey there, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Keenan here. Hope you're all doing great. Today's video is going to be a quick check-in, asking to see what you all want to see going forward, letting you know what's planned for Tales of Chimere in the near future, and an exciting announcement. Since I'm really bad at not talking about what excites me, we're going to start with the announcement. Tales of Chimere is now available in hardcover. This weekend, it debuted at my first signing event, held at Barnes & Noble in Vestal, New York, which sold all but four of the hardcovers that I had shipped into the store. Met a ton of new people and was blown away by the reception. I've included a few links in the ISBNs in the description below. If you are able, please do order it to your local bookstore and ask them to ship it in. I understand that some people need to order from Amazon, but I'd much rather we support local businesses. Barnes & Noble and Waterstones, or whatever your main local chain are good, small businesses are best, and they should all have access. So a bit about the book. It includes the 11 short stories and novellas of the paperback anthology, with such stories as Death Walks on Broken Wings, a story about Codgerith Lumberjacks and a Picardian big game hunter trying to bring down a man-eating pterosaur, and of Frost and Famine, which follows a crew of Akanuk whalers who, when stranded, help a island village fight off supernatural invaders. In addition, this anthology includes a hardcover exclusive Drowned in Water and Blood, a never-before-published short story that follows Nasiri, the Picardian hunter of man-eaters from Death Walks on Broken Wings. In Drowned in Water and Blood, an older and weathered Nasiri Here's rumor that a Kurajaku, largest of the Megaraptorans, has gone man-eater. The locals call it Dojikanjo, drowned in water and blood. It is a juvenile, but Kurajaku are territorial once they reach adulthood, and show individual preference for food. Nasiri knows that if it grows up a man-eater, it will consume entire villages. Although Nasiri has avoided killing some creatures by having them kept by Koban the Pirate King in his famous menagerie, two man-eaters he sent to Koban were involved in a slaughter where many died, and both were violently killed. To stop the Kurujaku, Nasiri sets out for the kill, knowing he can put it down more humanely than anyone else. Jehan is a young Imperial student visiting family in the Soretic Wetlands. He recognizes Nasiri as the hunter is passing through. Their paths intertwine, and Jehan seeks a way for the wary hunter to save the village without having to end another life. So that is the newest short story from Tales of Chimere. It's near the back of the book, just before the three Tales of Earth stories. Going forward, I've got a lot of videos mapped out for the rest of 2021. As many of you know, the end of the month I'll be doing a four-part series on the supernatural entities of Chimere. They're all technically natural, sort of, as you'll learn in the video, but they seem supernatural, and since that's how the characters in the book describe it, for the sake of simplicity, I call them supernatural. Anyway, there's also going to be a video on a very important fish, an overview of sloths, a few other specials, as I have time, and a first look at one of the regions beyond the known world. The month of November is going to be Megaraptoran month here at Tales of Chimere, with three full videos going into these diverse and fascinating creatures, both in Chimere and in the paleontological record here on Earth. Last for today, but certainly not least, I want to know what each of you want to see going forward. I had a lot of fun with my last video, which was on animal coloration and creature design, a ton of people sent in some really beautiful artwork. I highly recommend watching the compilate I highly recommend watching the compilation of artwork that people sent in if you haven't had a chance. So many amazing things in there. Because of the reception here and on other platforms, I want to do more creature design tips and tricks videos. Given how many people asked for feedback, I think I might also include some creature design feedback videos too. Please let me know in the comments, and I will take them into consideration as I start mapping out my video schedule for 2022. Thank you all so much for watching. Check your posture, bleh. check your posture, drink some water, and take a deep breath. <sighs> You've got this. Cheers, folks.